Speed Corey's 1970 Cuda is a 700 horsepower menace. In its short history, Speed Corey Performance Group has made a name for itself by building high-end, high-power muscle with an emphasis on classic Mopars. Their latest build, this 1970 Cuda, belongs to Speed Corey co-owner Jim Kagmarsik, so of course it follows the trend of bringing top-notch build quality and design with handling its aggressive presence makes it deserving of its nickname, Menace. All of the bodywork ahead of the A-pillar is carbon fiber, hood, fenders, valence, header panel, and bumpers. It saved weight off the front tires so that even with a reinforced subframe, Dynamat soundproofing, and a supercharged iron block Hemi, curb weight is a respectable 3,400 pounds. Meet the Citron Alley, a new zero-emission mobility concept. For Citron, Predicting the future of affordable personal mobility is an obsession, and the success of its AMI model has provided the impetus to take unconventional to a new level in the conceptual and all-electric OLI. Designed as a striking and innovative laboratory on wheels, this new vehicle seeks to move the needle for family mobility and say enough by bucking industry trends for heavier, more complex, and expensive electric cars. Rather than being a 2,500 kilograms palace on wheels filled with screens and gadgets, OLI proves that with enough of the things customers need and want, supported by responsible materials and a sustainable production process, the societal need can be met for inexpensive yet desirable zero emission mobility enabling multiple lifestyles. Speed Corey Performance Dodge Demon The Speed Corey found a way to make the Dodge Demon even more ferocious. Out of the box, the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon is one of the quickest accelerating, most extreme cars ever offered with a factory warranty. But it was only a matter of time before the aftermarket tried to improve upon Dodge's work. At the 2018 SEMA show, Wisconsin-based Speed Corey Performance Group will unleash a Tim Demon sporting carbon fiber bodywork and even more power. The stock Demon sports a 6.2-liter supercharged Hemi V8, famously producing 808 horsepower on pump gas or 840 horsepower on 100 octane racing fuel. Speed Corey kept the engine but ditched the supercharger in favor of a twin turbocharger setup. The result is a claimed 1,203 horsepower on E85, a blend of 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline available at some gas stations. Speed Corey added a new torque converter to the stock 8-speed automatic transmission to handle the extra power. Lamborghini Urus Mansory The 2021 Urus Mansory is powered by a 4.0 liter and a twin-turbo V8 that makes a stout 754 horsepower, burbles deeply when idling, and absolutely howls under full throttle. Permanent all-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic transmission conspire with all that power to enable miles per hour in 3.2 seconds and tore up the quarter mile in 11.4 seconds at 121 miles per hour. The 2022 Urus feels athletic from behind the wheel with quick steering and stable high-speed cornering. This Lamborghini can tow heavy loads and tackle unmapped roads. The 2022 Urus is an incredibly entertaining and versatile machine. BMW X6M F96 Minotaur The X6M the BMW X6M competition is the perfect driving experience for those looking for the best of both worlds. It takes the style and interior space of a premium sports activity coupe and injects it with the power of a sports car, which is made possible with the impressive M Twin Power Turbo V8 engine with MX Drive. Performance 
the high-performance M Twin Power Turbo 8-cylinder 4.4-liter petrol engine delivers 625 horsepower, 750 newton meters of torque, and is the most powerful of all engines in BMW standard production vehicles. Equipped with two twin-scroll turbochargers, high-pressure injection, and valvetronic, the X6M competition goes from 0 to 100 km per hour in only 3.8 seconds. One thousand sixteen Lamborghini Urus Widebody Kit. Fitting Lamborghini's famous design language into an SUV shape wasn't easy, but the team at the Raging Bull managed to pull it off with flair, making the company's first SUV a success. Restrained has never been a term used for Lamborghini's lines, but one thousand sixteen Industries Widebody Kit for the Urus walks a fine line, deftly adding to the SUV without going over the top. The South Florida firm's kit adds 3.5 inches in width to the front and 4 inches to the rear, allowing for an even more aggressive stance. Each piece bolts directly to the factory mounting points, making it completely reversible, and are available in fiberglass, carbon fiber, and forged carbon fiber. Even more impressive are 1016's factory warranty preserving ECU tunes, with the Stage 1 kit adding 140 horsepower and the Stage bumping power up to 840, 200 more than stock. The production run is limited to 50 units. Paramount Marauder Initially, this car was assigned quite specific tasks escorting transport convoys and transporting people during hostilities. But soon the inhabitants of Africa, where this armored car was delivered, got a taste for it, and now the monster is found in private use. Serial production of the Marauder is established in Jordan. Under its hood is a manned diesel engine producing more than 300 horses and 1,100 newton meters. Important highlights of the Paramount Marauder are its air conditioning, a system of protection against weapons of mass destruction and other military pieces. Although it's maxed 500 kilometers without refueling, thanks to the additional fuel tanks. And most importantly, the Marauder can withstand an explosion of more than 10 kilograms of TNT under the wheels and 7 kilograms directly under the body. In general, sitting behind the wheel of this vehicle, you can feel safe. The main thing is to create a separate notebook where records of expenses related to its content will be kept. One-off Mercedes AMG G63 by Mansory gets unique faded color scheme. The tuned SUV produces 850 horsepower. Mansory offers visual and performance upgrades for a variety of makes and models. And its new Mansory Bespoke program takes customization to a personal level, creating one-off vehicles for customers. Its latest build is a tuned Mercedes-AMG G63 with a visual makeover that includes more than added aero parts. Mansory adds a new front bumper, fender trim, a rear apron, a roof spoiler, and more finished and forged carbon. However, it's hard not to address the paint scheme that starts as turquoise at the front and fades to black. The tuner calls the paint finish algorithmic fade. It uses a black painted symbol that becomes increasingly dense in size, spacing, and quantity, moving toward the rear, creating a faded color look. 24-inch forged painted rims sit at the corners. Brabus 92 are Smart EQ for 2 Cabrio. The brand new urban supercar Brabus 92 R. March 23, 2021 exclusively equipped limited edition city sports cars that are great fun to drive have a successful history at Brabus. That is why we now offer a new, electrically powered luxury two-seater for the city. The Brabus 92 R is built based on the Smart EQ for 2 Cabrio. As the name indicates, this two-seater is a city supercar with an electric 
powertrain rated at 68 kilowatts slash 92 horsepower and a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour, which is built in a strictly limited edition of just 50 vehicles. The Brabus 92 or City Supercar fascinates not only because of its dynamic powertrain without local emissions, but also because of its extravagant equipment. The Brabus design package sets the two-door car apart from the crowd, as do the tailor-made Brabus monoblock alloy wheels. The classy Brabus fine leather interior creates a noble ambience in the cockpit. Lamborghini Huracan STO gets Navitec makeover with lots of carbon. Carbon fiber composite accounts for 75% of the car's bodywork. Lamborghini made a race car for the road in 2020 when it launched the Huracan STO. The track-focused, road-legal supercar received extensive modifications that made it lighter and more aerodynamic. Nav Navitec uses an extensive amount of carbon fiber composite, accounting for 75% of the car's bodywork. The tuner uses the material to lighten the vehicle and alter its appearance, adding new rocker panels, larger air intakes for brake cooling, naked carbon mirror covers, and enlarged engine intakes. The tuned Lamborghini sits on staggered 20 and 21 inch centerlock, six spoke wheels Navitec designed with Vossen. They're available in 72 color variants with either a brushed or polished finish. American Auto Tribute, Espera Sparrow 8, Hot Rod Concept Car. I'm guessing that you've seen those car pictures with the new concept car from the French auto manufacturer Sparrow Montbilliard and you're just tired of only seeing the newest Espera Sparrow in a photo gallery and not too much details about it. This Espera Sparrow 8 Hot Rod is quite a manly car and it will turn heads if it gets into mass production, but even if you'd want to use your car care techniques on an awesome hot rod like this one, I'm pretty sure that you won't see too many of those on the streets in the near future. When it comes to the acquisition cost, you won't get a car price because you can't just buy a Sparrow car. Wondering why? Well, Sparrow is an auto school that teaches its students the fine art of car design and car materials. If the Aspera Sparrow 8 would have been produced, it would have been an expensive and very exclusive car or hot rod as you can see from the car photos. Yes, I've also got a photo gallery with the Sparrow concept car. Dodge Demon Widebody by Brad Builds 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon The Challenger SRT Demon is even mightier than the Hellcat version, boasting up to 840 horsepower and exclusive drag racing equipment. Did we mention that it can do a wheelie, too? While the limited edition Demon went out of production after the 2018 model year, it remains one of the coolest and craziest cars to ever wear a Dodge badge. Still, even the most powerful pony car competitors, such as the 650 horsepower Chevy Camaro ZL1 and the all new 700 plus horsepower Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, will be hard pressed to match the straight line acceleration of the Demon. <laughs> 